Number 5. Google Pixelbook Go. The Pixelbook Go is currently only available only in black. The Wi-Fi enabled laptop is made to be ultra portable at just 0.5 inches thick and 2.3 pounds. The rippled bottom of the computer also helps it stay in one place once you set it on a desk or table. One of the biggest complaints professional reviewers have about the Pixelbook Go is the fact that it's not convertible. You can opt for a Pixelbook Go with an Intel Core M3 processor, an Intel Core i5 processor, or an Intel Core i7 processor. The Pixelbook Go performs well enough for everyday use, whether you're browsing the web at home, watching videos for leisure, or working on spreadsheets at the office. We don't recommend this machine for more intense activities like video editing, as the processor, memory, and display aren't really meant for them. The Pixelbook Go has a 13.3-inch LCD touchscreen display. The screen has a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, and the Intel Core M3 and Intel Core i5 models feature a 1920 by 1080 resolution. The Pixelbook Go has dual speakers and two microphones. This Chromebook also comes equipped with two USB-C ports for charging and display, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. The Pixelbook Go comes with a backlit keyboard with Google's Hush Keys. We noticed that the Pixelbook Go's Hush keyboard is much quieter than the keyboards of other Pixelbook models. The 46 by 26 inch trackpad is etched glass with an anti-smudge coating, multi-touch, and gesture support. It can also be customized to suit more sensitive gestures and clicks. With the battery life on the Google Pixelbook Go, this laptop consistently outperforms other laptops in this area, with a reported battery life of around 11 hours, including with video playback. If you're looking for a quality laptop for school or business, the Pixelbook Go will get the job done. The Intel Core i5 processor in the mid-level model lets you efficiently browse the web, watch videos, and use business-related programs. Number 4. Lenovo Chromebook Duet The Lenovo Idea Pad Duet Chromebook strikes the perfect balance between tablet portability and Chromebook utility. All while keeping the price ridiculously low, and somehow packing in a lich king of a battery that simply refuses to die. While Chromebooks on average get about 10 hours of life on a fully charged battery, the Lenovo Duet lasted nearly an entire day of looped HD video. Chromebooks now come with a downloadable beta version of a Linux virtual machine, so you can use an actual terminal interface and all the Linux software accessible through it. Nothing is perfect however, and the Lenovo Duet definitely comes up short in some important areas. The keyboard is the physical embodiment of a touchscreen's compact, virtual keyboard, so it definitely takes some practice to accurately use it. The speakers are about what you'd expect from a tablet which means you'll likely need headphones to get satisfying audio. Aesthetically, the Duet has a certain minimalist charm to it with its near-total absence of ports and buttons along the sides. The 10-inch FHD, 1920x1200, IPS display is bright and vibrant, and the Chrome OS interface is simple to navigate. The roughly half-inch black bezels around the display are noticeable, but not egregiously so. Games and HD video run smoothly, and text is crisp and clear on the screen, making it less of a strain to read for extended periods. Also the Lenovo Idea Pad Duet even manages to put out a very respectable performance when it comes to light to moderate mobile gaming. When it comes to general web browsing, video streaming, and basic productivity use, the Duet does exactly what you want it to do without so much as a hiccup. The Duet is one of the most portable Chromebooks you're going to find right now. Its compact form factor and negligible weight make it the kind of two-in-one that you can easily carry with you in any circumstance. Number 3. Acer Chromebook Spin 713. 
The Acer Chromebook Spin 713 is absolutely one of the best Chromebooks out there right now with a combination of performance, design quality, and battery life, but the lack of an included stylus is downright strange for a 2-in-1 in the design takes. While some might consider this overkill, the Chromebook Spin 713 puts all that extra horsepower to good use, making it a highly portable workhorse for work, school, or travel. Acer built the device into an aluminum chassis with sturdy but flexible hinges, a comfortable keyboard deck and trackpad, and a beautiful 3-2, 2256 by 1504p touchscreen display. The keyboard is comfortable to type on with a decent amount of travel and key spacing, while the trackpad is nice and responsive. The touchscreen too, is responsive and when used with a stylus, which is not included with the laptop unfortunately. The Spin 713 also features the most up-to-date Wi-Fi 6 standard as well as Bluetooth 5.0, so connecting additional peripherals like a wireless headset is a snap. The Spin 713 is 8GB RAM and a 256GB CSSD, not M flash memory storage, so it all but pushes you to install and run local apps from the Google Play Store, which the Chromebook Spin 713 simply chews through without so much as a stutter. As for battery life, we saw some mixed results with a couple of outliers that skew the average of 8 hours and 24 minutes down a bit. With an Intel Core i3 or Core i5 processor, the Chromebook Spin 713 brings some heavy hitters as far as Chromebooks go, you're getting an excellent value. Number 2. Lenovo Duet 3 The Lenovo Chromebook Duet 3 is here, and there's plenty of good reasons to be excited about this Chrome tablet. This is effectively a bigger, more expensive follow-up to the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, a surprisingly capable and inexpensive Chromebook. The Duet 3 is slightly larger, with an 11-inch 2K screen housed in a thin black aluminum chassis. At 10.16 by 6.48 by 0.31 inches with a weight starting at 1.14 pounds, the Duet 3 isn't quite as light or thin as the base iPad 2021. The Duet 3 has a bigger, brighter screen than the original Duet, with a higher resolution. Lenovo has improved the port options on offer for the Duet 3, as it now sports a pair of USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 jacks. But, the Duet 3 still doesn't have a headphone jack, something we sorely missed in the original Duet. This Chromebook is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 7C Gen 2 chip and packs 8GB of RAM, which together give this Chromebook plenty of power to multitask between web browsing, working and some light gaming. The detachable keyboard that comes with the Lenovo Duet 3 is remarkably good, with keys that feel satisfying to type on despite their shallow travel. The touchpad on the keyboard is equally usable, and it comes in handy when you don't want to risk smudging the screen by say, stretching out a Cheeto-stained finger to crank up the volume. I doubt you'll like the way you look through the lens of the Duet 3's front-facing 5MP camera. Also the rear-facing 8MP camera isn't much. The Duet 3 lasted an average of 10 hours and 30 minutes. That's pretty good for a tablet, though it's hardly surprising given that this is a low-powered Chrome device. The Duet 3 is an improvement over the original Duet in some smart ways. Lenovo upgraded the screen and boosted its resolution, making everything you view on it look better. The second USB-C port is also a nice addition that makes the Duet 3 a more feasible productivity device. There are better options if you're willing to spend more money. As good as the Duet 3 is, Apple's base iPad outperforms it in nearly all areas. On our number 1. Samsung Galaxy Chromebook 2. The Samsung Galaxy Chromebook 2 is the world's first QLED Chrome OS laptop. 
a compilation of the latest and greatest Chrome OS systems we've reviewed, is in desperate need of a striking new standout member alongside the Lenovo Chromebook Duet and Google Pixelbook Go. Best-selling points of Chromebooks are their budget-friendly price tags. Thankfully, Samsung has snapped out of its premium Chromebook ambitions and slashed the price of the Galaxy Chromebook 2 in half, which makes it number 2 on our list. The Galaxy Chromebook 2 weighing 2.7 pounds and offering 0.5 inches of thickness, is thinner and lighter than its competitor. QLED stands for Quantum.LED, and without getting too technical, QLED is an energy-saving technology that outputs decent brightness and stunning colors without guzzling too much battery power. So the Galaxy Chromebook 2's 13.3-inch, 1920x1080 pixel display is a feast for the eyes. It's also worth noting that the Galaxy Chromebook 2 has a touch display, which provided a smooth web browsing experience. We found the touch display particularly useful while reading long-form articles. Samsung boasts that the Galaxy Chromebook 2 features surround sound smart amp audio that is 178% louder than typical amps. The keyboard has an eye-catching black and red scheme that is visually pleasing. Thankfully, the Galaxy Chromebook 2 lasted two more hours on battery than its predecessor, thanks to its QLED screen. Despite its felt form factor, you don't have to worry about the Galaxy Chromebook 2 setting your thighs on fire. The Galaxy Chromebook 2 is a decent laptop. But the problem is there is a better competitor on the market. If you have gotten value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe to Tech5 for more.